I do not know what channels I am currently streaming to due to the overloading of the internet um, my streams I think will have to stop temporarily temporarily but will be placed up as videos on each of my channels I do apologize for this folks but I have had a lot of trouble getting the streams out I cannot even I'm doing a test now trying to see if I can see the stream and I can't even see the stream coming out. It's taking far too long to upload it and to restream it. Um, so you guys out there, I do apologize that uh, the streams may be few and far between, but regular videos will be placed up. So keep an eye out. I'm sorry uh, to all my, um, yeah, to all my supporters that are regularly there when I stream, I do apologize. But whilst this is happening, it's a bit of a nightmare folks and I can't really do anything I have tried everything that I can to correct the problem you may have noticed very short streams coming out or actually delayed streams and um, when this actually happens um, there's nothing I can physically do about it so I do apologize this stream may still get streamed, but it's actually not live. It will be a delayed effect, and I do apologize. So please, from now on, um, please expect the videos. Now I'm telling everybody uh, that when you do hear this, that the next video will actually be the computer reading a document that I'm releasing to the general, to the general press. And I truly believe I've actually come up with a solution to finding the virus. I've spoken with quite a few doctors because as everybody knows, I have friends that are doctors. And um, they actually quite wholeheartedly agree that this can actually work. Now you ask, and once you hear the plan, I'm going to ask you to go to your doctor and say if we do this will it work can we find the virus can we isolate it because once we've found it we can isolate it so my next video will be me reading a document that um yeah that i'm typing up so i'm just going to show you that actual document if i can find it i do apologize folks i am actually having a few little issues so the document is being prepared and I'm trying to do my best to actually get it up. And this is a, this is the actual document. It is actually there. It's being written. The copies of this will be sent to the Attorney General. Copies of this will be sent to the Queen. Um, it's being sent to the World Press because I'm serious about the Labor go um, the Labor government should be placed into power and actually start enacting a, a lot tougher things to crack down. It's already proven that it didn't work in the United States. It hasn't worked in Spain and we need to stop it. So, um, so that my, um, how would you say, my emotions in regard to the useless uh, Prime Minister and uh, Governing Party of Australia at the moment won't be in this letter because I want this letter to be sensible and I want it to be thing. So I'm going to let the computer read it. I do apologize that those of you that are in the chat um, yeah, it's actually delayed. I'm really, really sorry about that. And uh, there's no sense. Um, I can't even get the chat yet, so um, I can't respond to it. Thank you very much for all your support up to this crisis. I do thank you very much. But unfortunately, until this streaming issue can be resolved, I ask you just to wait for the videos and watch the videos as they come out now i'm talking to all my channels i'm talking to all my subscribers now please when this video does come out please share it with everybody this is a very possible solution to finding the virus so we can isolate it once we've found every case of the virus we can then keep those people isolated like they should be until they are virus free and can no longer transmit the virus and their houses are going to have to be cleaned as well but we can first quarantine everybody it really truly needs to be done folks i'm a very smart man very smart man i've been studying for 26 years i know how to do my research i have spoken with doctors this plan will work so when the next video comes out i'm still not finished with it yet 
and I was hoping to have a direct stream with all my regulars, but I've noticed that there is another delayed stream. It's been happening for days, and it is because the internet is overloaded because everybody's at home. So we're all going through this. Um, a lot of people are going to find problems with, with streams. You're going to have to be lucky to get be have a good bandwidth at the time, and I'm currently trying to find a time that works. In my country at the moment, this is not the time. Um, it may be later tonight where I can actually do a stream. So, But we're all going to have to go through these things. We're going to have to make a lot of changes in our lives uh, to get through until we find the virus. And we're going to have to sit down and have world panels after this to set new laws in regard to health and safety in regard to people that are sick. If, in other words, we're going to have to make laws after this, like if you have a cough or a cold, you are to stay at home and quarantine. This should be a regular law from now on. There's a lot of things that we need to do, but the next video I will be making will be about this letter. And yeah, and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on, but I want to complete the letter before I read it to everybody. So those of you out there that don't know me, please listen to this letter. Please listen to what I have to say. This can really, truly work. And we can prepare for it. Yes, we're going to have to prepare for it. But one thing we must do now, every country needs to shut down the postal system. The virus can live long enough to survive through the post. Now, Italy still wants to export. And anything exported from now on during this crisis should be quarantined upon arrival for an extra period of 20 days to make sure that the virus is dead. Every container is going to have to be disinfected. We are going to have to make really serious things happen because what the governments are doing isn't working. This will. We the people can make this work. But we together have to do this. If we don't work together, it won't work. And if it doesn't work, it means, well, the ones that haven't prepped for six months and can stay in for six months, like myself, are going to die. Because eventually this is going to reach very large proportions. Look how fast this has spread across America. It's spread like wildfire. America is now, has the most cases, the most deaths. So we have to turn around and we have to protect the world. We have to do this united. Every person, the queen, right down from the queen to the kings, to the politicians, down to the lowest of the low. We have to do this. And when I say the lowest of the low, I'm talking about the ones that the government has fucking forgotten. Right? But we have to protect everybody. Homeless are going to have to be accommodated as well. You're going to have to use the hotels for the homeless as well. Every single homeless person that is in Hawaii is going to have to be accommodated during this 40 days and 40 nights. Whether we have to use every single MRE that is on the face of this planet to feed our population for 40 days and for 40 nights, we need to do it and we need to do it now. Because if we don't globally shut down the earth, this virus is going to kill at least a great percentage of our population, as well as mutating, which it will, and I think, believe everybody knows it will, then we're never going to have a chance. It's already out of control. We need to stop it, folks, and we need to be the ones that stop it. The governments aren't doing it. Like, the steps they're taking are half ass. If they were serious, every government would have shut down the mail. That would have been the first thing they'd done. Every government would have shut down and quarantined all containers coming in and out of countries. If this had been correct and the governments had been doing everything they were supposed to do, we would have very few cases. But like my government, a few weeks ago, I know you don't need to wear a mask. The World Health Organization was telling everybody on that same day to make sure that you wear a mask. The Liberal Party and the Australian government needs to go. Some other governments may need to go after this is over. But we must do this ourselves. We must protect ourselves. 
If the government won't do it, we can do it ourselves. We just don't go to work. We don't leave our yards. But first, the government should be making sure that we all get 40 days worth of food. Now, I'm going to tell everybody something, right? I'm going to tell everybody, when you go shopping, please wear rubber gloves. Because so many, how many of you pick up things and put them back? And then the next poor sucker does it. Do you know, I haven't opened one of those single bags of groceries yet I haven't touched the food why because I haven't got enough sanitizer to sanitize every can and all I've done is replace the goods that I already have because I've always got a supply and I always use them I always rotate my food in the old days every house used to have at least two weeks worth of food in it no one does that anymore. Stupid. I think because my, my family saw great, great bad times, like the Depression and everything, that was passed on to my generation. But the world needs to prepare. You need to prepare for 40 days and for 40 nights because I'm not going to stop people until I make sure the government shuts down the world. And if they don't shut down the world, I am very serious. I'll tell you when to shut it down because when it starts getting really, really bad, we don't want to leave our homes. So make sure you don't have to rush by. Just be sensible. Say, okay, this person needs this much food. Prepare for one person every day. Go out and get your groceries. Or if you don't rush the shelves. Because if you rush the shelves, well, you can't anymore because there's limits. But I do think those limits are a bit ridiculous because they should be double loading into the, every store, triple loading into every store. They truly have the stocks and they can get the stocks from the suppliers. But if we don't prep for the 40 days and 40 nights now and find the virus, we're screwed. Right? We have to find this virus. We have to isolate every single case around the world. We have to know where every single case is so that they can be hospitalised, treated, and that hospitals and people that make ventilators should be rushing. And that should be one of the biggest priorities now, that all the ventilator companies in the world should be expanding. There are so many people out of work and the governments should be paying for these ventilators. That now should be the only priority that when it comes to medical because we're going to need them, folks. We're going to need them. Like polio, we had to build so many iron lungs very quickly. I'm trying to warn the world right now. We need to build these ventilators and we need to build lots of them right now. They need to go in full production. More production like they have never, ever seen. So hospitals can be supplied with hundreds of these things. If we don't start doing this, folks, we're all going to die. We have to think as a race, not as a country. Oh, man, this dude comes from Italy or that dude comes from China. Right, yes, we should stop things coming from these countries at the moment because they're sick. Any country that's sick should not be sending out product, should not be sending out a single amount of product. Oh, okay, maybe grain and stuff like that doesn't touch human hands. Yeah, that can be sent out. And it should be sent out. But the thing is, if when it comes time for the 40 days and 40 nights, nothing moves. Nothing. Dogs don't leave yards. Animals are kept in homes. Cats are kept in homes. Cats are, go cats are going to be one of the worst offenders. Okay, and the virus can live long enough for the fur if, and your cat may have two or three homes. Trust me, your cat may have two or three homes. Mine had about 20. Everybody in the street knew my cat. They all thought it was their cat. Trust me, it really happened. Everybody thought they found a stray cat. It was just my cat getting fatter and fatter and fatter. So cats could be the worst offenders and it will be able to live on for, for, for a few hours. Right? I'm selling pups at the moment. If anybody comes and looks at the pups, I wipe my pups down afterwards. I get some just a disinfectant cloth and I wipe each pup down and I wash the rag and I wipe the next pup down and I clean my pups because I don't want to get the virus. 
So we've got to take extra steps. All of us must take these steps. And you have to think sensibly. Stop fucking panicking. The panic time's over, by the way. Now it's survival. And it really is. We have to think of survival. Okay, the best way to survive is to stop the fucking virus. But we can't have the virus. Like, I'm seeing so many people at the moment, and it's making me cry, that are going out. There's no social isolation whatsoever in the evenings and everything like that. And I know they're neighbours to neighbours to neighbours. So my neighbour, if and one of my neighbour, one of these neighbours has got it. They're all got it now. You've got to start sitting back and respecting social isolation. And during the lockdown, we should expand that to three metres so that a neighbour to neighbour can still talk to each other, but they're far enough away from each other. They can still have contact. But we're going to have to do all these things as a planet. So please, when this next video comes out, listen to it. It's very sensible. There's a lot of thought that has gone into the plan. I'm an inventor, and I, and I am a very smart man. God, I built a spacecraft. Well, I haven't built a big one yet, but I've built little ones, and I know in theory, and I have spoken with engineers in regard to it, can go in and out of the atmosphere at less than five kilometres per hour. And it can be done. The government is already working on similar items, but they're having so many problems because they built the wrong shape. That's all they've done. They've built the wrong shape. Hydrogen can be used to take astronauts in and out of the atmosphere. Instead of compressing it, you let it expand. See, submarines and things like that operate on the principle of ballast and things like air and water, lighter, everything. Did you know air is a fluid? You can wave your hand against the other hand and you can actually feel it. It's a fluid. So we live in a fluid. These craft work on that same sort of thing, same principle. I designed that. So trust me, please listen to this. And one day after this, I'll explain that in greater detail even more. I gave it out. There's other videos on there. But I don't want to die. I don't want anybody else to die. I've lost my mum possibly to the virus. We still don't know. My sister still hasn't called me and told me what's going on. And the hospital won't tell me, they'll only tell her. So we don't know. We can't bury her until next Wednesday. And all we know is that I don't want anybody else to die. I don't want a single person to die. Right, there's a lot of wise people out there that know things and the government aren't listening to him to a single one of us, trust me they're not oh they pinch our ideas but they're not putting together because see when, we, when we've worked out plans, we've worked it out we've planned every aspect I, I've planned every aspect of this, it's easy all we've got to do is lock down, just honour that lockdown and you're going to have to take these precautions in your homes as well you're going to have to clean a lot, yeah, you're going to have to clean a lot, quite a lot but as I said, I'm going to put a video up letting the computer read it so the emotion isn't there. I know the emotion should be there, but let's just say every time I talk about the letter, I've got to talk about my mum and it's upsetting. So I'm going to let the computer do it. And if we don't do it, folks, yeah, we're screwed. I'm not trying to be an alarmist. I'm trying to be fucking sensible. The time for alarm is over. The time for thought is now. The time to act is now. Not in six fucking months. Not let's see how it, what happens. The moment uh, even an epidemic happens, a lockdown should happen on countries. Instant shutdown of borders. Not bring our, yeah, bring our countrymen home, but just... Why instead of bringing them home, why don't we just make sure they're fed and hot, like homed in hotels instead of bringing the virus back? But yeah, okay, we've already got the virus in our country, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, bring our people home now because, yeah, it's already here. But even Mr Morrison said two-thirds of the country 
will be affected. Two thirds of the country are affected of the people that came home. Sorry, two thirds of the people that came home uh, that are affected got it whilst they were overseas. So where did the others get it from? Yes, some by spread. But where did those ones that don't know that had no contact, i.e. like the lady up here in the Martyr Hospital? She doesn't know where she got it from. She's had no contact with these people. And her friends have had no contact with these people. So it leaves one other thing, the post. It is she's most probably bought something online. And because the virus can spread within eight days, she's caught the virus. So we've got to start making all these assumptions as well. If we don't make assumptions and just dismiss it because it's an assumption, you don't dismiss a possible cause of the spread. And this is what our governments have done. They've left the mail open. That should have been the first fucking thing they did. Shut the fucking mail down. But they haven't done it. This is one of the reasons I'm, I want to call to have the Labor Party put in. Have a government that fucking at least knows how to fucking handle fucking disasters and shit. The Labor Party has seen depressions. The Labor Party has been through all this. Yes, the Liber Liberals went through it, but they didn't learn. They went in power when all this shit happened. See, Labor Party was the people. So they're the ones that lived it. And this is what we have to do now. Forget about the fucking parties. We've just got to put someone in there to fucking either act and make sure that we get the 40 days we're going to need. I'm talking to the Australian government and the Australian people now. Um, we need to do something. We really fucking do. They're useless. This government is the most useless government ever. And we need to do something about it. As a people. Yeah, just write to the Queen and write to the Attorney General. They'll have to do something. The Attorney General has, a, has the power and the Queen has the power. So you, they're the, the only two people we can write to. That's how you remove a government, folks, in Australia. Right to the Queen and right to the Attorney General. Because I'm sick of people dying. Our government has just made up all these half ass excuses. They say they've got a plan. They don't have a clue. They don't have a clue. They really don't. And you can see it in his face. He knows he's lying. You can always tell a liar's face. They give it away. They give that little smirk whenever they're telling the, the porky. They do. They all got a little smile when they tell the porky. Porky, by the way, is a lie. So we need to do something about our government. You guys need to start preparing for a 40-day lockdown. And if the governments don't do it, all we have to do, we can do it ourselves. We just don't leave our yards. We don't leave our homes. We stay locked down. We adhere to the quarantine. And we help them find the fucking virus. But if we don't work together as a world, this thing could take out your daughter. This thing could take your mother. It could take your brother, your sister, your son, your child. You have to start thinking like that. This is what is called survival. Survival means that we have to act. And if we don't act, because when it comes to survival time, it's the time for action. Now is the time to act, not in six months. It's now. But it, they can't do it on their own. We have to do it together. As a people. All over the world. Why don't we make something happen in history for once where everybody can say, well, our grandparents or our great ancestors shut the world down for 40 days and for 40 nights to save the world. And that's what we have to do. We really do need to shut the world down, folks. We have no choice. There's nothing to be scared of. It's easy. You can, you can live inside for six months. I was pretty crook at one stage last year. And all, all my subscribers know, so I went through five life-saving surgeries. I spent six months of my life where the only time I left my house was go to the doctors, go to the chemist, and go to get food. But then there were the times when I didn't even leave the house. I had to have it brought to me. I never had left the house. I didn't go crazy. I didn't go bonkers. Would have been nice to have some company like all the families are going to have, but it's easy to do. Oh, trust me, if you like solace, it's unreal. Because <laughs> I love solace. I love silence. 
I love peace and quiet. Like even my dogs are trained to be quiet. My dog has sat there the whole time, not driving me nuts. Yeah, Ruby, when she comes in, drives me nuts. But Emmy, when she comes inside, she knows to sit there. She knows to be quiet. And she knows when to comfort me when I need her, when I need company. But I'm not cr like running around the house. Oh, how am I going to feed myself? How am I going to feed myself? Because I've prepped. I got six months, easy, six months worth of food. Count it every day. I check everything every day. But see, when I count six months worth of food, I don't count three meals a day. I count one meal a day, one can a day, one can of food a day, or maybe two packets of noodles a day. Yeah, well, with noodles, you'd want two packets. Trust me. It's not filling if you don't eat two packs a day. You have one pack in the morning, one pack at night. But you need, unfortunately, you need certain things. You need proteins and things like that as well. Carbs aren't the only thing you need, so you've got to mix it up. One day you might have noodles. The next day you'll have a soup that's got vegetables and things like that in Or you might have baked beans because you need your protein. And you can even it out, your protein and your carbs the next day you can reduce even if you start running out of food you still can reduce it to survive and the government should have supply routes and things like that um, but yeah this is what I mean you really need to listen to the letter so when I've got it done I will get it out I'm very passionate about this folks and I'm not going to rest until we shut the world down to save ourselves this is Anthony James Avery signing off I'm also known as the cannabis protester and I've got many other many many other channels but the thing is we need to work together that's why everybody's seeing the same stream everybody's seeing the same videos and I do apologize I will return back to all normal programming after this crisis is over but at the moment I need to get people to start acting because no one's acting correctly no one's doing anything Yes, there are people going out and they've rushed and got their food. But the thing is, you need to resupply. You need to think, but you can't just rush the shelves because then you can't resupply. How you resupply is you shop normally. So until such time that a lockdown happens, which I hope happens very fucking soon, you just buy sensibly. You re and you rotate. Resupply and rotate resupply and rotate that's how you survive and after this that's how everybody should survive everybody should have one cupboard that's dedicated to canned food 100% dedicated to canned food everybody should have that and enough for everybody you've got to think about how many people in your household you must think about every animal in that household I've already started reducing my... I've normally sort of overfed my dogs just that little bit because they're very active. Today, they they got back to the standard this amount per dog per day. And I won't exceed it from now on because I'll make that dog food last me now. So we've just got to think. The plan will be released to you at the, the same time that I release it to every single news media. So that you, the people, especially you and all my faithful subscribers, you will all get to know what the plan is. Unlike the governments, I'm not hiding what I've come up with. I'm showing you a plan that possibly can work. See, they're hiding what they... They're sitting in their little offices think, oh, well, they can't touch us. Yeah, we can just plan this and do that get them to do what we want well guess what they can't they need to fucking act and they need to tell us their plans as they're going on we need to we need to be able to see what the plans are how they're fucking planning it we we have that legal right in australia and that should be made every single plan should be made public not sat in an office it needs to be planned out in public so that people can see the planning going on and see this is something that should be discussed across the room and i'm not seeing that I'm seeing it happen in one fucking little office, one party. That's not how you operate a government in a crisis. You get everybody involved in a crisis. So as I said, so when the plan comes out, it will be a lot more sensible because I'm going to let the computer read it. 
because as you can see I'm a very passionate man and I do believe in this and I know it can work I've spoken to doctors I know the logistics you think may be hard but it's not God, do you know there's enough MREs out there to feed at least half the population for this period of time? At least half the population. But then we have tin food and everything. Like, we don't need things that are going to last forever. We just need the food that we need for 40 days. Because all we have to do is isolate the virus. See, in a hospital, the first thing they do is isolate. Isolate. So to find the virus, though, we have to isolate everybody. And we must do it. And I must apologize once again to those people watching this as a stream. It's sort of delayed because of the internet at the moment, but it is still coming to you. I know that. But... To make it easier, I'm going to be using mainly videos. I will try and stream later at night so that I can get my message out. There won't be as many on because all the kids will be asleep. You might find that in every country. Wait until the kids are asleep, then you do your stream. Um, so yeah, we've got to try not to overload the internet. You don't need to sit on the internet for 24 hours, but stay communicated stay communicated make sure that all the vulnerable have telephones so that they can communicate well the ones in hospitals yeah well give them the access to the phones as well let them call their families right because you're going to have to accommodate everybody it can't just be done as a half-assed effort that's going on it has to be done by all of us not just one of us, not just one country. It's got to be done together. And But the biggest thing is all shipments must be quarantined. Ships are going to have to be quarantined in our harbours. If they get the virus, they should put up something similar to the plague flag, right? And that should be something now. Every ship that is out at sea, if they get the virus, they should put a sum symbol up so that we know, and there must be a symbol used in the military, in all the merchant navy, and they must still have that signal on board. There must be a law now that they must use that, that they have this illness on board. And they can't be coming in on land. They're going to have to stay out to sea, and they're going to have to go through the 40 days. They're going to have to re be resupplied. They're going to have to be resupplied by helicopters. The government's going to have to make sure that we do this. But we have to quarantine everything, everything, folks, even our animals. Yeah, the animals are going to drive you nuts, and those with a lot of cats, I feel really sorry for you. They're going to have to be kept inside. Make sure you change your litter. You're going to have to just be changing the litter real regular. You can't let your pets run around during this because those pets have got more homes, especially cats. Even your dogs have got other homes. If they are wanderers, oh, in Australia, we can't have wandering dogs. We're not allowed to. But dogs, if they had the chance, yeah. I oh, know my everybody in the street used to name what we had a dog years and years ago when I was a kid. Everybody knew him. Every, because he used to follow us kids to school, then he'd go home, and on the way home, he'd say hello to everybody. So everybody knew my dog. Everybody patted my dog. So think about that. There's a lot of things we do. Think about security as well. We're all going to need a dog. If you have a business and things like that, during the crisis, we need dogs. We need dogs. You can set up automatic feeders for animals. Right? It's easy. Automatic feeders can be set up. All you've got to do is you train your dog to use a feeder. That's all it is. But our animals, and if you own dogs and stuff like that, well, the government should be making sure that uh, the armies and things like that are patrolling business areas and things like that. Um, that is going to be a must because during the shutdown, they need to yeah be secured. Security companies might have to work as well. So, But, yeah, I can go over the plan in greater detail at a different time. But it does drive me nuts that this is what's happening with the internet, that 
I can't get my message out there and it's driving me crazy that I can't get my message out. The streams just aren't working unfortunately and it's everything is coming out delayed. So I'll get, I most probably will get the stream in about 10 minutes, 20 minutes after I shut the stream down it'll start coming through and I can watch it. So that's how bad it is at the moment. So if you're getting this stream, I've already made the stream. And unfortunately, it's just the thing I'd say restream is overloaded as well. But we have to work together, folks, to solve the crisis because the governments aren't fucking doing anything. We have to, as a people, shut down the world. Sorry, we have to do it. Otherwise, we're going to die. And I don't want to die. I fought for my life last year. I don't want to go through it again. It was hard enough going through it last year. Hard enough on my family, knowing that every time I went into that surgery, I could drop dead. And I don't want to put anybody through that. But if we don't work together as a people, folks, and as I said, I'm not a fear monger. I'm trying to bring sensibility into your head. Because the time to act is now. Not last week, not next fucking year. It's right now. Because I don't want anybody losing any family not have to go through what I went through and this is why I'm going to let the computer read the letter because it's hard even now it's hard it's going to be harder on Wednesday that's when we finally can put her in, put her down, down in the ground where she wanted to go that's it they let us we still don't know yet the decision hasn't been made yet So I plead for everybody out there to be sensible. And I plead for everybody to make preparations because you're going to need it. You're going to need 40 days and 40 nights. Watch my last video. Watch the video before that. And see that these will, this idea will work. Talk to any doctor. You ask the doctor if the virus was quarantined into a house, would we find the case? The doctor will say yes. You tell them the time span because you say, okay, it's 16 days on the surface, 14 days for the person's sickness. Like, will we find the virus if we shut down the world? And every single doctor will say yes. My friends thought, and I reckon they're some of the smartest people in the world, by the way. They th I'm, I'm, they're my fans and I'm their fans. Uh, they're smart. That's why they're my friends. I like smart people. But to turn around and not do something is idiotic. To turn around and just say, oh, we'll let the government do it. You're a fucking idiot. Because they're idiots. They just want to stay in power and get these lush pensions. They don't give a fuck about us. They never have. Politicians want to be politicians because most politicians were those little bully kids. And some of them got into it to get revenge. I know they have. I've got a friend that got into politics for the same reason. He knows this, who I'm talking about because he watches this stream. So you've got to ask yourself, folks, can we do it? Yes, it's dead easy. I do it every day my life. I work my home, my business is here. I've had to set up a home office because of my disability. It's easy. It's really easy. We all can do it. And kids, it's not a holiday. You should be studying. And mum and dad, your teachers need to set up things like my TAFE is set up. My TAFE, instead of using Uber Conference, is using Zoom. So there are plenty of platforms out there that you can use to set up schools similar to School of the Air. Make sure those kids are studying properly. And I'm talking to every country. So those of you out there that think we should shut down the world, vote like those that don't, dislike. And there's going to be idiots that say, yeah, dislike this video. But you're an idiot if you do. Because we, do re we really do need to do this. It's desperate, folks. Too many people are dying. Too many people are dying. 
and it could soon be your own family. You may soon lose somebody, or it may be you yourself. We have to shut down the world and we've got to find every case straight away, one so they can be treated. But until, the, until we do this, every ventilator company should be told to work max, increase production lines. And they should be hiring all these out of work people. If they're going to keep people in work, they need jobs straight away and they've got to make these ventilators. But make sure they're healthy people, for fuck's sake. And make sure that every process in there is sterilised every step. Yeah, the electronics may be a bit hard, but that can be, there's Freon and stuff like that can clean it. So we just have to work together. If we don't, we're dead. Sorry, but we are. And forgive me, folks, I am in a great deal of pain today. That's also one of the reasons why there's no video stream and things like that. One of my next videos will be exercises that you can do, which will be a um, video stream. And um, on exercises you need to do throughout your isolation. Okay? You need to do it. And salt's going to be a friend while you're isolated and locked up. And yeah, we're locked up. So what? We're locked up. It's easy. Prisoners do it every fucking day. You've got your family with you. They don't. So think about it. We need to do something, and we need to do something right now. We really do. It must be done. The sensibility of it is, think about the consequences if we don't act now. If we wait, how many more people are going to die if we wait? If we wait, thousands more will die. Just look how quickly the death toll rose in America. We don't act right now. More are going to die. It should not just be, uh, we'll let everybody out at Easter. It's got to be a total lockdown. It's, everybody's got to be supplied with 40 days worth of food. And then we shut the world down and we unitedly shut the world down because if we don't unitedly shut the world down, everybody's going to die. But the first thing we must do is shut all po parcel and all letter post down. Everything going into a country when it arrives, no matter what country it has come from, it should be quarantined for 20 days to guarantee the death of the virus. Because even now, they're now starting to see the virus still viable spores 17 days. So it's now jumped to 17 days. Yes, the quarantine may need to go on longer if they find this virus is living longer. But if we lock down, we've got more chance of finding it. We've got more chance of isolating it to get healthy people back into food production. And that's going to have to be the thing. Forget about all these little luxuries, folks. Luxuries are a thing of the past, right? This is the time of action. Our parents went through this. I've heard these stories from my grandmother. I know everything that they went through. Because that's how my grandmother used to enter entertain us at night. She used to tell us about the Great Depression. <laughs> but it was great. I learnt about that before I even went to school. I learnt how my family survived. And do you know something? My family adapted those ideas as we went along. And we've learnt to survive all our lives. And it's a lot cheaper, too, if you live like this. It works out a lot cheaper. You get a lot more money. You've got to be frugal. The luxuries have got to go out the window. And once the luxuries go out the window, people are going to start re realising, OK, we don't need to rush to do this. We don't need to rush to do that. You should be preparing your gardens right now. Your gardens... And yes, you can grow winter gardens in Australia. We can have winter, we've got winter crops here. Cabbage, collie, broccoli, staples. You can grow during the winter. There's a lot of things that can grow through the winter. You just have to know what to grow. But everybody, every, and landlords, yeah, your yards may get a bit of a garden in it. And you should let those gardens happen. 
because during the lockdown, we're not going to be able to go out of our yards and it has to extend. We may need crops that grow fast, i.e. lettuce and things like that. Yeah, just get the ones that grow the fastest. Buy the crops that grow the fastest. So we've got all to think about everything because we're still going to need our greens. Peas? Yeah, beans. You need... Well, I think, no, I don't think beans are good winter crops. I think it's peas. But I know broad beans grow. So yeah, no, beans grow. And um, yeah, those that have hydroponic setups, use them. Now you have to start thinking. Right, the time to act is now, not next week, not in six fucking months. It's right now. You have to start preparing, and it's easy to prepare. I have five thousand liters of water just in case the shit hits the fan, and it could hit the fan. I can survive without going out. If I have to swap to that water, I will swap to that water, because I know it's the same water, but I just got it earlier. And it stops people from stealing me tank. <laughs> As I say, try and move a 5,000 litre tank, you've got no chance. Even if it's only quarter full, you've got no chance of moving it. So you've got to ask your things, self, folks. Do you want to die? Do you want to live? Do you want to live? Maybe you should listen to the next video and listen to all my other videos on the Cannabis Protester website. These are the ones that are important. Some of these videos are also on these channels as well. They're on all my channels. Share this video. Copy it. Share each one of these videos. Copy it. Put it on your own channels. Put it out saying, watch this video. It is made by this dude. Listen to it. We need to do this. Like, I don't need fame. I've already had fame. I'm already famous. I don't need it. But what I do need is I need to get my message out there. This can work. And it really will work, folks. But we've got to work together. If we don't work together, yeah, we're dead. Sorry. It's my, one of my favourite sayings. If you make mistakes in the workforce, you're dead sometimes. But the problem is, if we make this mistake now, we most probably all could die. It's affecting children already. It's definitely affecting parents. And sorry about that. But it's affecting all of us. We have to act now. Not next week. Not when the next family member dies. Now! I love you all. I'll catch you later. And I hope we all survive. Thank you very, very much. And please wait for the next video. It will be up soon. As soon as the letter is finished. Because it's uh, yeah, a very long letter. And the computer will read it. The whole letter. So thanks guys. And I'll catch you all later. Bye.